We can also investigate this concept using Venn diagrams. Let the green area represent the full event space. Okay, so this, this green area contains all of the possible outcomes of an experiment. We're going to define two events. Event A is in this circle, and event B with this circle. In this case, the two events are mutually exclusive because we see that there's no overlap between them. None of the outcomes in the green space exist in both events simultaneously. So in this case, we can use the simple additive rule uh, for uh, the simple additive rule because the events are mutually exclusive. What happens when the events are not mutually exclusive? In this case, we've got event A and event B, but some of the outcomes occur in both events simultaneously. In this case, we need to remove the intersection from the summation of the two probabilities in order to make sure that we don't double count this intersection. Let's look at the example here with three cases. We've got three events, event A, B, and C, and none of the events are mutually exclusive. If we were to just add up the probabilities uh, uh, simply by, uh, sorry, if we were to just simply add up the probabilities, let's look at how many times we add up each of the different zones of this diagram. Well, we would only be, uh, we would only add up the independent parts of A, B, and C once each. So these three parts, we would only add up once. The intersections, the bivariate intersections, or the two-way intersections, we would actually be adding up twice. So th this area in, let me use a different color, this area in here, we would be counting twice. This area over here, we would be counting twice. And this area over here, we would be counting twice. Now, because the three, pro the three events actually intersect and include that central area, what have I done here? Well, then we're also including three counts of that middle area. So you can see that if we ignore the fact that these are not mutually exclusive and we just use the simple addition rule, we're going to overestimate our sum of probabilities. We're going to overestimate the probability of this occurring because we're double counting these areas and triple counting that center spot. So what we have to do instead is remove those double countings or triple countings from our sum. So the first thing that we're going to do is remove the bivariate intersections. So we're removing this area once. That's the, pr let me go back and make sure I know what's A, B, and C here. So we've got A, B, and C. This was A, B, and C. So we're removing the probability of A and C occurring. We're going to remove the probability of A and B occurring. And we're going to remove the probability of C and B occurring. But look what we've done now with this central area. We've, we were originally triple counting it if we had just included, if we had just done that in the sum. But by removing the three intersections, we've actually dropped now this little area in the middle. So what we need to do next is add it back in. That little area that we're adding back in is the probability of A and B and C occurring all at the same time. So now we can see that because these events were not mutually exclusive, we couldn't just use the simple addition rule. We had to correct for all of the overlapping intersections by removing the, the binary intersections, the two-way intersections, and adding in the three-way.